that name. <laughs> All right. The public employee uh, will now come in session. Uh, Mr. Clerk, will you call the roll? Alderman Ortman. Alderman Villa. Here. Alderman Arnowitz. Here. Alderman Murphy. Alderman Spencer. Alderman Green. Here. Alderman Ogilvy. Here. Chairman Williamson. Here. Vice President, you have a quorum. All right. Good morning, everybody. We have Board Bill 112. It's, uh, it's a paid bill that's coming out of the Sheriff's Office, and uh, our sponsor will be Alderman Bocaro and Alderman Bocaro. You're welcome to go ahead and start well, it, your presentation. Well, it, it's, it's just a pay bill, and what I would do is just like to open it up for questions. I'm hoping we can pass this out today. And I, I have Wendy who does the books, and uh, Joe who's the attorney who wrote all this, so they should be able to answer questions. And uh, just like every department up here, you know, Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Joe, is there anything in here that's brand new? Is that a fair question? Uh, that's a fair question. The, excuse me. Apologies. <laughs> the only thing that's brand new, I should have had coffee earlier this morning. The only thing that's brand new is the uh, pay scale is now a, a matrix. And that uh, was done because in, in reviewing other pay bills which have been introduced, they all seem to go to the, the matrix. Uh, for, for pay raises, a matrix system, and I thought uh, we like to be in conformity with the other departments. So, other than that, there's nothing new. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. All in um, <clears throat> so, on this matrix with these pay grades here, so we'll st I'll just start with 10. So. So if you get hired, I guess it's a, as a deputy sheriff, that's the starting salary, and, and the max is all the way at the other end on all these grades, correct? That is correct. Although it's my understanding if somebody starts with a 10, uh, they may not start at level one. It's up to the sheriff to, to determine what the starting scale is, or the starting pay is. Having said that, uh, my understanding, at least from his historically since Murphy's been there, is he starts at the, at the lowest range uh, with a few exceptions. And then, uh, how many, let me ask this, and Wendy probably knows this better, how many majors is, is in the sheriff's office? Two. Two, and how many captains? We have three slots. Um, currently two are filled. And So, okay, I, I see here, so starting salary, so if you're there long enough with the make, matrix raises, uh, your bi-weekly could be thirty-seven sixty-five. dollars uh, There are 16, correct? Uh, yes, that would be the maximum for that grade. Now, is there any, any captains at that salary? No. No. Okay. Because probably well. the longest one there is Major is George. He's probably got forty something years, and he's a, he's not a cat. Right. No. No. He's a major, and and um, with this matrix, um, everyone does fit within the ranges of the minimum and the maximum as per um, the board bill states. Okay. And currently, how many deputies are there? I believe at the level 10 it would be 93. I didn't bring my. Oh, that's all right. I was just getting to try and get a figure of the whole. Mm -hmm. um, from the top, it might be easier. Administrative aid to the sheriff, there's one. Major, there's two. Captain, three of three slots. Lieutenant, seven. Chief execution deputy, one. Um, sergeants, I believe 13, senior deputies, I'm believing we're about 17, and like I said, I did not bring those. Up. Oh, that's okay. Okay. I, I would just try to get an idea of <clears throat> how many actual people work in the sheriff's office. 175 is our table of organization. All right, thank you. 
that it on you? Yes, I'm sorry. I'll be quiet. No problem. Very good question. Okay, uh, Alderwoman Green. No questions. Okay, Alderman Ogilvy. Um, on page 14, uh, compensation of the sheriff and the city now within the county may be annually increased. Um, that refers to Sheriff Murphy, correct? Mm -hmm. So, unlike other elected positions within the city who can't receive a pay increase during a term of office, apparently this position can and will. Uh, that that provision, and, and, and I stand corrected when, when Alderman Billy asked, that, that paragraph, lines six through eight of par page 14 are new, that was modeled after some of the other bills that have been introduced into evidence. It wasn't in the past bills. Um, and in, in, in direct answer to the question as to whether or not the sheriff can or cannot, I don't know. Um, my guess is, uh, Alderman Ogilvy, that the, he probably can't. I don't know. I assume it says once you're in, you can't, but I well, am not any not it says expert there. in that area. Well, it says right here that he can. Well, in this, yes, that provision is not in the, in the current uh, uh, ordinance as it, as, as it says today. Okay, so why, I mean, why was this added? When, when it, we was, have, it was added. It, by me, and when I reviewed the various bills that were introduced, I looked at the collector revenues bill, I looked at the, oh, one of the bills that, that Alderman Villa introduced for one of, I can't remember which one he introduced, as well as the uh, the pay bill, the, uh, the major one, one I saw that language the medical in examiner and one ordinance for the medical examiner and Medical examiner's office and the other for the collector of revenues office. I think it was the collector's office I looked at, and I'm not sure where I uh, borrowed the language, but I'd be lying if I told you that I could draft these uh, from scratch and, and it was sort of cut and paste, and it looked like a, a provision that, that ought to be applicable to whoever the next sheriff is. But that's not that's not what it says. It says the compensation. It doesn't. It's not referring to the next sheriff. It's referring to whoever is the sitting sheriff in office can have an annual salary increase. That's not, that's a different situation than 28 aldermen or the president of the board of aldermen or the mayor or the comptroller. All of those positions do not receive raises during their term of office. If they, in some cases, they may receive a raise after being reelected, although the board of aldermen did not uh, during the last round of elections, but the, an annual raise is something that's not characteristic of a lot of other elected offices well, in the city. Again, I borrowed the language from some uh, from a, another bill that was introduced. I mean, that, if if that is is going to be a killer, you know, we're not going to live or die by that provision. If I may, I looked up the state statute, and that refers specifically to the sheriff. And obviously, state statutes do that for since it's a county office. And it, it, it mirrors that language. So, um, although you may have taken that language, this was specific. What he cited is specific to the sheriff and what they can do. So, obviously, a lot of their legislation is directed by state level rather than here. So, that's where that comes from. With that, and I have it here if you want to see this account. Well, Thanks. So, in other words, if the uh, sheriff was to receive a, a salary increase each year, would he have to go through the state taxes to get it approved? No, no, he would, no, because the state doesn't regulate that, but it allows that for it to happen. And it, the language is rough, it mirrors that, where it's a may, not a shall. So again, it, it would be up to the, 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 the sheriff, but it does allow for it anyway, a state statute that I pulled. I, I think that's true for all county offices. It really is. Yeah, yeah. yeah because. Yeah. They're an office of the county. And there's been questions in the past if this is even necessary, yeah. bluntly, to come before the board. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much the norm. Yeah. Well, the county I, I just know this one's specific. I mean, it's not something they're putting in. It's something the state allows. Right. Okay. Very good. Any more questions, Alvin? No. Sure. Okay. All right. Uh, I just 
have a few questions. I wanted to ask you about the differential pay. How does that work? Uh, what's the percentage on that when it comes to differential pay? The shift differential is 1% of their biweekly rate. So if they make um, $1,055, that minimum, mm -hmm. in the biweekly time, if they work one qualifying shift, they get $10.55 added to that check, and that would be per shift. They would have to work five hours after 3 p.m. or five hours prior to 7 p.m. to be eligible for that shift. Uh, my next question, uh, you know, which shift is different for you, you know? Okay, uh, part timers. Do you have any part time employees in the sheriff's department? Everybody pretty much full time. And when it comes to your sick time and, and your vacation time, do you kind of mirror the, you know, civil, uh, you know, civil St. Louis? You know, just kind of wear the same thing that they have. All right. Um, oh, yeah, just kind of off the record, in a sense. The bill, uh, not concerning this bill, but the, the uh, I know it was a bill that uh, Senator uh, Cavity submitted to have the sheriff's office and the pointing office. Is that still active? Uh, it's dead in the water, as I understand right now. I mean, and it, again, off the record, my personal opinion is not going to pass next year because it's an election year. Uh, and the judges are in favor of that. Uh, and, you know, as an employee, I had an opinion, but I hope okay. I just wanted to know if it was still like that. No. All right. Mr. Chairman, it would currently be dead for this legislative session, obviously, okay. and, and I have no idea where, uh, what Senator Kevin's intentions may or may not be come next December 1st when he can file it again. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It, it, it did not <clears throat> come out of the Senate Judiciary Committee this past session. You know, in, 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 to add on uh, to all of the bills coming, uh, I've known Joe since he was five years old. We went to the same grade school, but Joe's an attorney, so he's going to do the, the the judge's bidding to to curry favor with the court system. Having said that, I don't know how far it's going to go next year. But for right now, it's like like uh, all this is kind of dead in the water for this yeah. session. They're, yeah, they're, they're, they're out of session. They'll go back in um, second Wednesday in September for a veto session. But other than that, they won't meet again now until 2016. Okay. Appreciate that information. All right, well, I'll make a motion to pass out Board Bill 112. Second. All right. All right. Okay, you call the roll, please. Alderman Orman. Alderman Villa. Aye. Alderman Arnowitz. Aye. Alderwoman Murphy. Alderwoman Spencer. Alderwoman Green. Aye. Alderman Ogilvy. Aye. Chairman Williamson. Aye. Five, five aye votes, zero no votes. Board Bill 112 comes out with a few past recommendations. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank